Hello students, your instructor here, John Madula, with another screencast. This one in Dreamweaver, and we're talking about multiple pages and how you can manage all of them with one CSS file. So here's a great example uh, of when you'd want to, uh, or how you could automate things, make them really quick for yourself, because you're just using one CSS file and you're trying to make um, as minimal changes as possible in HTML, as minimal changes as possible in CSS. So here we go. So I am on my services page. You can see it's one of my inner pages on my site, services. You'll notice how it has this gray box around it. Well, on my index page, okay, again, a live view here, there's no gray box around anything because I'm not on one of those pages. So how do I get it? How is a case like this where I want it to appear here, right? When I'm on the services page, I want this to be gray. But when I am, you know, on a, on a different page, that doesn't appear gray. Uh, how can I do that just one file? So first of all, what I got to do is I want to look in my I want to look in my HTML to see what's going on. So I'm going to look in the code view of my services page real quick, looking straight at the HTML, and I can see okay, well, you know, here's my body. So that we're gonna, okay, don't worry about that for now. Got wrapper inner, it's fine. Header, logo holder, it's where the logo was. Navigation, okay, here's the nav. And I have is a link for the contact page, okay, and a link for a testimonials page. I have a link for services, and that's where the changes. So the rest of it is just, you know, line item and the, the hyperlink reference for that page, you know, that HTML file, and then the name of it, and then the end of the tags. This one you notice though, inside the line item opening tag, I have class equals and then in quotes, current page. Class equals current page. Well, a class is like an ID, but you can use it over and over and over again if you desire. So, if that's that, that's all I have to do as far as HTML is concerned. That's it. Just add this little bit inside the line item tag. Okay, again, this is my navigation. So, I want to see that right there. So, that's that. So, let's go to the CSS to see what that is. Remember, we're looking for current page. So, if I go way down here, let's see. Look for the class of current page. Here we go. So the current page, there's the class, so it's different than an ID. An ID has a, a hashtag or a pound symbol. Classes have the dot. So this says dot current page, so that's the name of the class, is what? It's a background color of hashtag CCC. So that means hex code CCC, which is a light gray color. That's all I have to do because, excuse me, everything else is defined. Um, already, right? Everything, the font, the color, the hover activity, all that's already defined. All I want to change is just the background color of it. All right? That's it. So then, if that's my services page, right, this current page, that means anything with a class of current page, and in the case, the only thing on this page that has current page class assigned to it is this one line item. So I can do that any page. So if I open up and I go to, let's say, the philosophy HTML, which we've looked at before, I can see that here's my nav, and as you would have guessed it, in the line item for the philosophy link, in the navigation, I have class equals current page, and I don't have it anywhere else because I want it to appear only, oops, only here on the philosophy page. I don't want it to occur anywhere else. And when I'm on the index page, just so we can see what that looks like, Nothing has this gray box around it, so if I look in the code, in the markup, it makes sense that in this unordered list, nothing has the class of current page assigned to any of these line items, because I don't want that gray to appear there. I want it to just be empty or white. So that's an example of how you can use one CSS document across all these. So on this page, even though I'm not having anything that's assigned to current page, then even though that CSS still exists for that, it doesn't matter because it's not asking for it. It's not looking for it. It's not trying to find the link. So it can stay in the CSS file that's used for all the pages. It's just an example of things you could do like that um, and how you can make sure that your HTML is all about you know, content and your CSS is all about style. Uh, that's all I got. Thank you.